Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today I'm here to bring you guys another game review. And the game that we're reviewing today, and I hope I say this right, I apologize if I don't, is Ninja Clash of Carrots. And before we get into any of that, I have to ask you guys all a huge favor. Please, if you haven't already, do make sure to hit that subscribe button, and do make sure to ring-a-ding-ding -ding that little notification bell. If you ring-a-ding-ding -ding it, it will help out the channel, it will help you keep up to date with my daily videos, and you get to see my pretty face more often. Come on, that's a win right there! Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, guys, let's get into this game review now. Ninja! Clash of Carrots. It's a game that is available for $14.99 on multiple systems, including PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Steam, which is PC. Now, this game is created by a game company called Pocket Trap, and they have made games such as Magnostatic, Thunderstruck, and Hellbroker. And while these games aren't very well known, they are games that are supposed to have good reviews. So I did just want to bring that up right now so that you guys know kind of what kind of game publisher we're talking about here. So what is Ninja Clash of Carrots about? Well, basically, this game has a very simple premise. You're a ninja. And you are trying to get back the carrots that were stolen by an evil overlord. That's simple. Now, along the way, you're going to have all different kinds of enemies that you encounter and all different kinds of things going on, but that's the main premise of this game. You're a ninja. You've been tasked with getting back these carrots so that the rabbit town can have a nice, relaxing time. Now, this game is very much a hack and slash type game, but it is different from other hack and slash type games in as much as you are constantly moving in this game. Now, what do I mean by that? This game is a runner. What's a runner, Mumbles? It means that the background of this game is constantly moving, whether you're moving your character or not. So literally, the animation is that your character is running along and there's enemies coming at you. So, I don't, I'm not gonna get into controls or anything like that right now in this section, but what I do wanna point out right now, just to get it out of the way, is this game does have both local and online co-op features. So just do be aware of that. This is a two-person game if you'd like it to be. Otherwise, you can play it as a single-person game. Now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game, they are very pretty. And as I've always said, things can be overlooked when graphics are pretty. It's just the way things go. If things look good, it doesn't matter if you use 8-bit graphics. If it looks good, then people are going to like it. These don't have the most graphically demanding graphics out there, but they're pretty. So, graphic-wise, it's going to get a pass by me. Now, soundtrack-wise, this game just has kind of a whatever soundtrack, gaming elevator music. It's uh, music that will keep you intrigued in the game, but not really music that you're going to walk down the street and sing about. It's just solid soundtrack music. Control-wise, the controls in this game are surprisingly very on point. Usually for a runner game like this, the attack and slash, you expect the controls to be a little sloppy. And surprisingly, thankfully really, this game has very on-point, accurate, well-made controls. So big time props in that section. Now let's talk about the gameplay of Clash of Carrots. As I said, this is a fighting game. So as you can see in the gameplay footage, you're trying to kill the enemies that are coming after you, and then you get to face off against the boss, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the main thing I want to point out here is you have different kinds of moves that you can use. You have dash, you have an attack dash, you have a regular swing with your sword, you have shurikens or whatever item that you have equipped that you can throw. So there are different options that you can use to fight against these enemies. And you're going to need all of those options because different enemies have different ways that they're going to go after you. Now, the other thing I want to talk about in the gameplay section is you are not locked into having one type of sword or one type of weapon. There are upgrades in this game that you can acquire. Uh, basically, by collecting carrots, you're getting access to newer and better weapons because that is like the currency in this game. So, as you will see in some of my gameplay footage, I use a normal sword to start with, and then I acquire a carrot sword, which acts and looks better and different. So, each weapon in this game that you acquire and use has a different kind of feeling to it. You know, heavy weapons, you swing them slower. 
So, light weapons, you swing them faster and you can do pokes like I could with the carrot sword. So, it is a nice change up of things that they, that weapons actually do matter. It does have an attack power and it does make a difference in your animation. So, that is always a good thing when a game has something like that. So, that's really the final thing I wanted to talk about in the gameplay section. There's not a lot to this game. It's really just kind of a hack and slash, run for your life type of game. And it's all about figuring out the patterns of enemies and how to get around them without dying and doing the best that you can to beat the game. So that's all I'm gonna really, really cover here in the gameplay section, but let's talk now about the con section. And I do have a couple, unfortunately. The first con in this game is that this game, while it is well made, I'm sorry to say, repetitive, 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 repetitive. Even though the key continuously introduce new and different types of enemies to you, you pretty much do the same thing over and over and over. Dash here, go do this. Smash, smash, smash. It's a very repetitive game. Now the second con that I have for this game is, this game isn't anything new that we haven't seen before. Yes, it's set in a cute setting, but this game doesn't introduce anything really new that uh, we haven't seen before in this kind of a game. Now my final con is the game length. For a $14.99 game, $15 if you want to get technical, you would expect an experience that's at least six to seven hours. This game only runs about four hours. So you have four hours of fun and then you're kind of done. So do be aware of that, it's another con. And that's pretty much the final con that I have for you guys today. So now let's talk about the overall score of this game. Ninja! Clash of Carrots is a great little game. Kids are gonna love it. It's got bright, colorful graphics, and it's a subject matter that, you know, while it's got a lot of action in it, it's not anything that's gory or anything like that. So it is a great game for kid potential kids out there that wanna play this game. With that being said, it does have some problems, unfortunately. And you heard the problems that I mentioned. So with taking all those into account, I have to give Ninja Clash of Carrots today a 6 out of 10. I just didn't feel it deserved the 7 mainly because of the game length. If the game came down 2 or 3 dollars in price, yeah it's a 7 out of 10 game. But in its current states, I gotta give it a 6 out of 10 because it's only got 4 hours of play and then you're pretty much done with it. So yeah guys this has been my review of Ninja Clash of Carrots. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.